Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with MysticGenMara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And tonight, today, whenever you see this, I would like to offer the elemental energy reading for the element of air for August 2024. The element en elemental energy of air covers the zodiac signs of Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So if you're Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or have air high up in your charts, then this video is for you. <laughs> if you've never had your charts done, there is a website down below, and it's uh, I have it linked as Needle Chart, and it's through Llewellyn. They have an amazing <laughs> uh, birth chart that they do. It gives you the time of birth and the 12 houses and the planets and all that fun stuff. But then it gives you uh, 10 to 20 pages, depending on what's all there, of a description giving you the baseline. It's very thorough as a generic, and there's a lot of information there, but it also tells you your elemental alignment, as well as like generational stuff. And if you've never had them done, it's an affordable way to get a general one and give you an idea of where to go next. <laughs> uh, if you're curious as to why I read for the elements instead of the zodiac i've made a video down below you can check that out and with that we'll get started with the I Ching. i cast the hexagram before the stream so it's <laughs> before the video so it doesn't take as much time and air got the hexagram of 58 and its title is joy joy success persistence in a righteous course brings reward not sure how I can add to that as the general theme for <laughs> the I Ching here, but air starting off with a bang for August, which is a good thing. So our foundational line right down here, uh, harmonious joy, good fortune. So they're basically saying you're going to start this month off really in a good place, which is awesome. And the foundation of this month for you is joy. It's harmony. It's peace. So if you start to feel a little out of balance, just remember to, what brings you what brings a smile to your face. Is it a puppy? Is it your niece, your nephew, your own child? Is it your that goofy thing that your spouse does when you're tr kind of feeling grumpy and your spouse is over there making faces? Whatever it is that brings you a brings a smile to your face, keep that at the forefront of the month because it's there's <laughs> they're giving me the indication this month is going to be pretty entertaining. So let's see our second line confident joy good fortune and absence of regret don't worry about the past that's the, what they're kind of implying or not kind of that's what they're implying here confident joy be where you're at if someone else is having a bad day let them have their bad day don't make it worse for them find happiness elsewhere but be in that positive vibe, that higher frequency energy. They're saying that there's a lot of light codes available coming in this month for air. So really tap into that kind of energy. Um, and by doing that, it's going outside, letting the sun, without sunscreen, without a hat, just for a few minutes. Hell, let the sun just really warm your skin. Really feel that wind in your face. Go out and put your feet in the creek. Get into the elements. Air is really about experiencing this month is what I keep hearing, so we'll go with that. Your third place line, which is this first broken one here. Uh, coming joy but misfortune. So this, the way this is set, it's a kind of an unstable situation halfway through, and that doesn't mean that it's going to be bad. It just means that your joy might get bumped. And that's that kind of you know rough person that, uh, if you're in retail, that customer that you're like, wow, that was unnecessary however it manifests it's going to be something along those lines where it's someone else is going to come in being less than pleasant it's going to could be a little jarring for a moment but it's not going to stay so our fourth fourth place line calculating future joys he or she is restless and suffers from various small ills yet he is happy doesn't matter what else is going on in life if you can find that joy that smile that reason to look to the positive this is going to support you as you go through the month. It's going to just be, uh, there was an old song from when I was growing up, Keep on the Sunny Side of Love. 
<laughs> and it might might be way older than what I'm thinking too. But that's what I'm hearing as you kind of your theme song for this month. So find those goofy s- songs that just make you happy and you hum to yourself and everyone else is like, what is going on? You're happy, it don't matter. <laughs> so your fifth place line, faith in what is disin- disintegrating leads to trouble. Don't cling to the past. The past is over. There were lessons to be learned. There's amazing memories there, but there's not an emotion that needs to be held. Allow the things that are not serving, that are not benefiting you, let them go. Put down the pack. It's not necessary. Your focus is on joy and happiness, positivity, and that's not being toxically positive where everything's great, but you're focusing on having a good day. You're focusing on being in that positive state and that's what they're really wanting to emphasize this month so our capstone the way to top everything off joy in the form of allurement so this it can be something that maybe what do we have here because allurement can be a lot of things we'll see what the book's definition for that is suggests superficial joy offered by attractions that would make no appeal to the superior person so (laughs) the basically don't chase (laughs) don't chase waterfalls I'm not sure why the musical references are coming up right here but we're gonna go with it Uh, find the joy that's inner that's inner that's that's powerful that's stable don't go chasing those oh well that looks fun and oh it was oh it washed away in in an afternoon those things can bring you joy but that's not really joy it's more of a pleasurable experience And it can leave you feeling a little empty is what they're saying. So don't focus on those things. Find the things that have meaning. The family, the pets, the connection to nature, the connection to God, source, divine. Those build the joy and that peace that goes beyond what normal comprehension of that type of an emotion can be. And air, you're very much an intellectual. You tend to get into your head. And in this particular aspect, they're saying take this and bring it into the heart. The heart is where joy is experienced, that swelling of life, that explosion of, yes, this is what I want. This is what makes me smile. That's what they're wanting to really bring forward for this month for our air family. So let's see what the cards have to say. There are about four and a half weeks in August, so we'll do uh, five sets of readings. I read a guide and and or guardian a message from source, and then a lesson or challenge from the tarot. The guide or guardian helps guide you through the week, guards you from unexpected (laughs) hiccups. The message from source is a positive support. It could be some uh, advice. It could be however that manifests, but it's source coming in to say, hey, I got your back. And then lesson or challenge, it could be something to work on. It could be something unexpected, giving you the heads up. Hey, this might be, (laughs) might be incoming. Look out. So, We'll head through the weeks with that. Your first guide or guardian is yes. Say yes to joy. Say yes to happiness. Say yes to peace. Say yes to a smile. Really tap into that joyful, peaceful, expansive energy. The yes angels are coming in saying, say yes to all the good things. Say yes to the happiness. This month, air. (laughs) The I Ching is all about it. Have fun this month. Find reasons to smile. There might be some hiccups along the way. We'll find out through the cards. But there's the dominant energy, the dominant focus for you is to be happy, to be at peace. They keep keep saying smile through the month. So we'll go with that. Your uh, message from source is to seek. Seek out the quietness. Seek out the simplicity. There's an owl showing wisdom. The wisdom is looking for the things that are simple. Joy doesn't come from elaborate. It can. It can trigger an aspect of joy. But true peace, true harmony that uh, that goes beyond comprehension type thing comes from simplicity. That smile that only your partner gives you. That goofy thing that your dog's doing. The way your kid paints the picture and you hang it on the fridge and it's actually you know it's in their childish way but they're putting their heart into it it's the simple stuff like that that brings that joy forward and that's what you're seeking this month is that peaceful joy not 
loud and boisterous. It's that inner quality, that quiet aspect of joy. So let's look at your lesson or challenge is the two of spring, a bright future manifested through hard work and creativity, partnering with others who share your dreams, great progress being made. This card is saying it doesn't, it's not a solo event. It can be, and it's all right if it is. But what the two of spring is bringing forward is it is the joy of companionship. It's the joy of being with others. When you are finding those yes moments, when you're seeking out that focus, doesn't mean that there's not going to be a rainy day every now and then. That's what happens. That's called life. <laughs> but the two of spring is saying when you're dominant focus and you are surrounding yourself with people who are focused on searching out the positive, how can we be better people to radiate that positivity out and help others, not through aggression, not through beating on doors, through example of just living joy. And that's what they're wanting to bring forward for this first week, which is a pretty powerful lesson, really. So your second week is do the work. These angels sound like they're going to be aggressive, but they're not. They're actually saying when you focus, and this is your work, on finding the joy, finding the smiles, finding the humor. That's the work that they're you're being called to do this month. And these angels are coming in to support you. No matter how weird the month can be, it could be a little bit rough at times. That's fine. But are you willing to look for the silver lining? Are you willing to look for the rainbow after the rain? This are, these are the things that bring that joy and anchor it in that simple parts of life because that's where life exists. The complexities, the, the schedules and the hours and the works and the events, and that is just excess. It's the simplicity where the joy is. You can have all of the rest of that. That's fine. But when you can find that peaceful, quiet part, and that's where you're doing the work of finding that. Your message from source is merriment. When you can find that quiet time, when you're doing the work to seek out that inner joy, it triggers the innocence of a child. It triggers the imagination of, you know, faraway times. I am, I'm hearing um, C.S. Lewis novels, The Chronicles of Narnia, so maybe check those out if you haven't read those in a long time. Go back to them. Remember the awe of when you cracked the magician's nephew. Remember the burr when you stepped into the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, or the final battle, or Prince Caspian. Go back to the things that brought you joy in those moments. Those books are amazing. There's a lot of funny. There's some scary, <laughs> especially when you're a kid. But go back to the things that bring you joy and peace this month. Find that inner merriment. Those it's only you're you're the only one who's going to know what those are it doesn't matter if it's a cheesy romance novel like and don't come don't come for me but like some of the stuff in twilight there were some amazingly good parts of that book other parts were eh, interesting but i'm a dude so that <laughs> doesn't really matter um but find the things that resonate for you air this is all about what is it that makes you smile not me not your partner not anyone else what makes you smile when you find that innocent joy again that do that focus on that you have the two of autumn is your lesson or challenge bring fun <laughs> into everything that you do juggling multiple priorities or jobs an exceptional talent for multitasking air you are an intellectual powerhouse out of the zodiac or out of the elements this is your thing this in so many ways personifies you look at what you can do how awesome it is you can juggle all these things but you find a balance in the middle of it. You find peace in the middle of it. Sometimes the chaos is what brings you a joy and contentment, which is so foreign to those outside of the air's bubble. But air, you like to plan, you like to focus. That is you. The two of autumn in this aspect is find those things that light you up. Whether that looks like chaos to someone else or not, it's what you do best. You're finding the fun in paperwork is what I'm hearing so <laughs> hopefully not too much paperwork but uh, your third week's guide or guardian and it's interesting that we've had um, two different twos as your lesson so this is definitely saying there's some partner energy coming in this month your uh, guide or guardian for the third week is harmony and resolution finding balance 
finding harmony. When you resolve, make a choice, to be in harmony with the world, with life. Doesn't mean it's going to be easy, but it means you're willing to accept things as they come, change what you can, release the rest. And these angels are coming in this third week to say, Air, you've got this. You are juggling things, like the Two of Autumn says, so well and multitasking it, and you find an odd form of peace in doing so. So the angels of harmony and resolution are coming in to be supportive of the work that you're doing in that aspect. Like, if, if this one brings you joy, we will support you in it. If this is how you smile, okay, we'll be here to <laughs> help you out when you need it. But they're here as a supporting role to really just help you find that harmony again. Your message from source is confide. Tapping back into that two energy from the past two weeks of um, chat lessons, is find the people you can confide in or person and this is that partnership energy i was mentioning there's like this uh connection that's being called for or reminding you for it, when you're in a relationship you have this urge to talk to your partner about the most mundane things whether it's oh i saw this butterfly on the road as i was driving to work today or when i went outside to have my lunch I heard this bird chirping and it was the most peaceful sound because you're looking for the joy you're willing to confide the little joys the little things that other people would not understand but that's what that person is for is that connection and so source is saying when you confide in that person the little joys the little happiness the little things that make you smile it's actually helping them because it's making them smile too because your happiness at that point that simple little thing is contagious in that moment so don't be afraid to share the things that are important with that sp special person in your life and they're they're saying that it's, uh, it's your spouse or your partner so however that <laughs> exists for you your lesson or challenge for the third week is the empress this is goddess energy time to take action the power of creativity success allowing for a life of luxury luxury just like everything else is in the eye of the beholder the goddess is coming through with the Empress card saying, what is it we are manifesting? How can we manifest it better? How can we take and change lead into gold? The Empress is saying, take time, time to take action. This is a time of creativity for you. Air, what is it that lights you up? What creative endeavor? Painting, sculpting, clay, woodworking, crocheting. How, whatever it is, really put your effort into what you're doing. Put your soul into the work that you do. The Empress, the Goddess, is coming forward to say, let's co-create, let's build. There's a lesson in this third week of being open to doing the things that make you happy. It may not make any sense to someone else, but if it brings you joy and it's not hurting anyone else, who cares? Do it. It makes you happy <laughs> and that does it again making sure you're not harming anyone that includes yourself so it's it, these are constructive creations is what I'm hearing so not sure why they wanted to make sure that came up but we'll go with that your uh, fourth week's less guide or guardian is learning experience this month is for some of you a challenge and that's a learning experience because you've always seen work and busyness as mandatory I have to do this you've never looked at it you've looked at it from as a the uh, concept of a chore you've never looked at it from the con the option of I get to do this I'm excited to go to work I'm excited to take care of my kids I'm excited to see my spouse at the end of the day these are learning experiences this month of August you've been finding the simple things in life you've been looking for the little joys that are the more important ones to let's be honest and the learning experience angels are saying now that you're starting to see this continue to look for those things going forward it's the simple parts of life that are in a lot of ways the most important now you can be very simple you have a very simple joys in a mansion that's fine too <laughs> and there's not a poverty mindset of oh you have to give up everything to be happy now but when you find the simplicity and you find the joy in that the universe is going to enhance everything else 
that follows in that joy pattern. So working with that energy is what they're saying is find find the joy in the simple and it's going to magnify into everything. And it literally can spread like that. Because, you know, as within, so without. So if you're doing the work inside, finding that joy, the outside world is going to start to work, or in your bubble anyway, that direction. Your message from source. Okay, Air, you have got some serious relationship energy going on this month. <laughs> because your message from source is the relationship card. Working with partnerships, being with the person you're confiding in, you have the twos coming in for the first two weeks in the lessons or challenge relationships are your are they're saying that relationships are going to be something that really sparks you this month it's going to help open you up and ground you into that joyful state and this fourth week they're saying do the things with your partners with your partner partners um go to dinner drop the kids off at grandma's house you know have a um <laughs> a uh, couple's night however that works go to a motel go camping do something that's for you in this fourth week through the month as well but this fourth week it's really about building that relationship with your partner they're not they're saying friendships are important as well but what they're really wanting you to focus on is the partnership watch your part not like stalk your part uh, partner but when you catch those little things that they do that just makes you smile those little quirks like maybe it's how they cut their steak and they're biting their tongue at the same time like ah or <laughs> whatever it is they're doing but those little things that just make you kind of smile that bring that little joy to your heart like you're a goofball but you're my goofball type thing but this is the energy that's coming up for this the message from source is this month there's joy in everything but your relationships are going to be a very strong focus for you your <laughs> okay air this is insane look at what came up for your lesson or challenge the lovers number six when you have major arcana these are wide-ranging they're not just for one week they're for the month so when you had the goddess card the empress card coming up in the third week and then you have the lovers in the fourth week the lesson that's coming up here is the joy the peace the happiness you do it within yourself and by doing it within yourself your partner also feels that you're connecting in these deeper levels they're bringing up like the and the emotional and energetic connection of a spiritual partnership in a relationship because they all are to a certain extent all relationships are a partnership and when you are joining body to body they're saying don't hold your spirit back as well this is the person you love work with them bond with them um, if you've ever looked at heart or hand fasting in the pagan traditions it's an exceptionally beautiful uh, ceremony I haven't been privy yet to, to be one in person but I've watched some online I've read a lot of different ones that have been published the connection that occurs it's not just a physical here put this ring on we're married there's and it it's not like that in tr the Christian traditions either but it's the wording it's the bonding of heart to heart soul to soul you're connecting with this other person there there's something special about the wording in those things and that's what the lovers are is saying is with the relationship card from the message this fourth week the joy the peace the happiness that you're building within is going to draw in your partner or your partner might be the one drawing you in however it works so there's that joy that's building between you and it's deepening a bond and a connection with each other and it's something that you might have to think about for a second but once the flow starts it's going to be the most natural thing for you and that's what they're wanting to bring forward this fourth week sorry that got a little intense for there for a second um your last week is power and intention are the angels coming and the guides are guardians and your power lies in your will your choice your choosing when you intend something you put power behind it these angels are coming in to help you understand in a lot of ways you create your own existence you create life you create the path moving forward uh, there's a lot of reference in the law of attraction stuff is what you focus focus on you bring about and it's not just simply I think about this it's I feel this I see the end game I see the next step your power and your intention are in this now 
moment. This month has been about finding joy, about finding peace, reconnecting on a deeper spiritual level with your partner. The power and intention that you are understand, beginning to understand or deepening your understanding of is saying, I really do have a say in how my life goes forward. I really do have the choice to look for the joy or the unpleasantness. The power and intention angels are saying, what are you going to put your power behind? What are you intending moving forward? So let's see what source has to add to all that. <laughs> yeah, this is an interesting reading. Air, if you're single, you won't be by the end of the month is what I'm hearing. Um, if you are in a relationship, spend the time to really tap into that. Uh, obviously, if you're not looking for someone, air singles, that's not for you. But if you're, you know, you're open to the thing, this month very well could be a month to meet somebody because it's heading that direction. Uh, your less or your message from source is possibilities. When you have the power and the intention to create and focus and build the emotion of I want to find joy, it opens the doors to possibilities. I like the kind of Pandora's box theme they got going on here because possibilities are endless. They can be good, they can be bad. The possibilities are what you create. There's no such thing as limit. There's no such thing as lack outside of the box you put yourself in. God Source Divine doesn't limit your pleasure, doesn't limit your joy. And I'm not talking the frivolous pleasure, the deep abiding spiritual pleasure. The, that feeling at peace and harmony with the world. The possibilities literally are endless. There's always something new. There's always something that can be better. There's always going to be something else to make you smile. You have your memories that are always going to be able to bring that smile forward, but there's always something new that's available to you. And that's what Source wants to bring forward is just because this is the start of happiness, quote from one of my favorite movies. It actually is happiness. The possibility of future happiness is happiness. The f possibility of future joy is joy because you have hope. You have a dream. You're putting a focus out that this is what my intention is. You're putting your power behind that. And guess what? When you do that, all of creation follows suit. Your lesson or challenge is the aid of summer, the desire for a more meaningful life, realizing that it's time to move on, choosing to make life changes. You have the choice going forward this month. This last week is saying, build the momentum through the month of August. The aid of summer is saying, what's next? What have you learned this month about how, where you stand in the world and how you show up in the world? What have you learned this month of August in finding this, the little joys, the simple peace, the harmony that lives within? And how are you going to project that forward into the coming months? This month is setting you up for an amazing fall. And they're saying this could be this the start of an amazing next year, which is really weird because we're just coming out of July. But that's <laughs> what they're bringing forward. So with that, uh, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, drop a like on the video if you enjoyed this type of content. Um, comment down below, let me know your thoughts, feelings, and opinions. Uh, Air, you have an amazing month coming up, especially if you are in a relationship or looking for one. This is a very good month for you. It's just going to be a good month overall, but they're saying that if you're single and you're looking, <laughs> You won't be looking for long. If you're in a relationship, take the time to deepen it. And if you are happy by yourself, be the best possible that person that you can be. You have the options, the abilities, the knowledge to live a joyful, happy life. And they're saying, go out and do all of it. So with that, I will let you guys go. Have a great rest of your month, and I will see you in the next video.